Hello, this is Michael with Failtech Academy. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about several different types of electrical scissors. I'm a data tech, and so I use electrical scissors, and I've had some issues with finding a pair that I really like for long-term usage. I bought three new types of electrician scissors, and I'm going to talk to you about the ones that I've used in the past. And I hope that this will help you to make a decision on what kind of scissors you'd like to have in your tool bag. Let's get into it. When I first started out, I didn't know any better, and these were the only kind of scissors I had ever seen. This particular set is made by Klein. When it comes to scissors, I don't like anything bulky. I don't really like the, the thumb spot. It, I get caught in it. It just doesn't seem to work really well. So after that, I graduated to this style. This one's made by Klein. This one's made by Commercial Electric. They're the same principle, but the idea is that they're supposed to give you a little bit more leverage. By this little piece here, you've got more to grab onto to be able to really cut some thicker cable. Again, I don't like this set because the hole really hasn't improved any. So you're still gonna have the same problem if you do use your thumb, you're gonna get your thumb stuck in this. This set, same principle. Ironically, the thumb hole is almost useless. I can't even put my thumb in this. So there's really no usage for that. It's really gonna all be external. The problem I've had with this style is that eventually the blades get so dull that they're not cutting fine things, like a pull string or like the tension string inside the jacket of a network cable. I bought a sharpener, tried to sharpen them, and that kind of worked, kind of didn't. The other problem with this style is you really can't cut anything that's very thick. Once you get past one or two RJ45s in a bundle or a ground cable that's a little thicker, even with the leverage, you're really not gonna be able to cut through that. So I got on Reddit, looked in the low voltage group, and saw some guys talking about scissors. And they recommended different pairs and all that. Figured I'll just buy all three, and I'll run them through the paces and see which one I like, and I'll keep the ones that really work for me. This is C-Jet Tool, A-R-E-S. This one is Work Pro. I haven't heard of these brands, and maybe I'm just out of the loop. So I'm looking at it in terms of functionality and what they'll do more than I care about what the brand is. Each one of these comes with a belt holster. Now, I don't know that I would actually use the belt holster. I carry around a small hip pouch, and I'm looking for something that will easily fit in this slot right here, because that's where by nature I reach for my scissors. Something I thought was really interesting was the different approaches to the handles. This particular brand gives you this kind of a grip. So it's nice because your hand can slip in and out, I guess. You've got a spot for your index finger. This is a pretty traditional setup. Same concept, a little bit of an angle. So obviously you can get maybe a better angle at your cable. So I like that idea. When I was looking at buying these, one of the big functions that I thought would be an advantage is that these have more leverage and will cut thicker gauge cables. Right now I have to carry around a larger grade cutter for ground wire or for generally bigger cable. And I think with each of these, you'll see this curved spot right here. This is designed to give you that really strong leverage to cut thicker cables. The next thing that I'm looking for is the ability to strip cable. Each one of these has a wire stripping feature in them. As you can see, you've got the ability to put in different gauge wires and strip them. This pair and this pair gives you three different gauges. This one only gives you two different gauges. One nice thing I noticed about these is they're gonna allow you to crimp things. So this actually has two different crimp points for two different types. This one is more of a pointed and this is more of a flat. This one only has one and it's pointed. And this one has one and it's pointed. The only real differences I'm seeing here is handle structure, the number of strip points you have, and the number of crimp points you have. This one by C-Jet Tool would appear to be the best. I don't really care about this wonky handle. So even though I've got two crimp points, I don't use crimping that much. So for me, I would probably just go with this one because I'd have the three gauges for stripping and the crimp portion if I ended up using it. This little A-R-E-S, I don't really have any problem with it, but if I'm choosing between this one and this one, I like the angle of the handles, and I like the fact that I've got three strip gauges rather than just two. Nothing here is really dramatically stronger than the other one. I think it's really gonna come down to personal preference. And I'll put a link to all three of these in the description of the video. That way you can click through and read all the features yourself and decide which one you'd like to buy. Let me show you some of what I'm talking about with the cutting problems I'm having with my old set. Now these are brand new, so I don't expect these to have any problems. But if we do see some problems and they're brand new, then we know that that's not going to be the best one to buy. My older scissors are really struggling to cut things that are not stiff and hard, that are more fine. This is the set that I've been using most recently that's the best of them. And this seems to cut okay here. Here's my problem. See how that just folds over? So my old set just is not 
cutting it. I don't really like this style, but that one actually cuts. Now let's see how the new ones do. This is for the large diameter. It still cuts it. So I can see that kind of being a problem. Like here, you can cut anywhere along the blade. Here, I would feel like I need to get it out here. But even here, it does cut. Let's see how this one does. Okay. Okay, that cut. Again, they're brand new blades. I really wouldn't expect anything crazy, but it's good to know if something does happen here. Okay, that one didn't cut as well here. But again, most of the time I'm going to be cutting here, but that's something to keep note of that right here, it's not cutting it clean. And these other two did seem to cut it very clean. Okay, so both of these cut very well in the larger gauge section. One of the problems I'm having is with this tension string. You know, you want to cut this when you're stripping your cables back. So with my current pair of scissors, I mean, it won't cut it unless I have a lot of tension on it. And then obviously when I have tension on it, it will cut it. Same thing here, no cut. That one actually cuts it. So let's see how these modern style ones do. Okay, that cut clean with no tension at all. It's just loose. Okay, that one did not cut. And that one did cut. So we got mixed results on even these new ones. Let's see how it does with this tape in the center here. Okay, that cuts out there with no tension. That cuts. That one cuts great. Even my old Klein ones seem to do well. That one does all right on it. And that one does okay. Just for curiosity, let's cut a paper towel and see how this does. That's cutting pretty well. This one just doesn't seem to get in there and cut it. This one cuts pretty well. So overall, I really feel like this one and this one, I like the most. I'm gonna lean this direction just because I like the angle and this has three strip points instead of two. Otherwise, they're very similar. And of course, they're all brand spanking new, so I would expect the blades to be sharp. So we'll see what happens over time. If you found this video interesting, please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. Here at the end, there'll be two cards at the top. One of the cards above me will show my playlist for tools and supplies that I keep on my van as a data technician. I encourage you to watch those to get some ideas of how I organize myself to be efficient in the field and to make the most money. As always, want to get you out in the field making money. I'll see you in the next video.